Kampong Patau Patau is located in the central area of Labuan Island that it is really convenient to go to town or even to places of interest. This is the chimney. It is situated on a rise at Tanjung Kubong. It is 106 feet tall and it is made out of more than 23,000 pieces of red bricks imported from England. It was never used for anything from what I can gather, um, but the amount of workmanship that went into it and, and the amount of bricks, thousands and thousands of bricks went into building it. Um, why it was built, nobody seems to know, but totally an incredible place and, and a lovely place to go and visit with the gardens um, and the fact that there was coal mining there in the days that take you back to when the British were here. Uh, very, very interesting place, very interesting. Yes, I enjoyed going there very much and it was amazing how tall the building was and all those bricks that they used to build it, it was really amazing. And when you go inside and you look up and you think, good grief, I don't know how they did it. It was quite an amazing building and you should, everyone should go and see it. It's really incredible. If you're staying in homestay Kampung Patau Patau, you'll have to have at least one fishing experience because the majority of the people here are fishermen. Now, although modern methods and boats are available today, but traditional rod like amba is still very much in use. I, I've been fishing before, many years ago, uh, which I, I thoroughly enjoyed, and, and through life it gradually you don't do it, you're too busy with other things. And coming here and um, <laughs> just doing it again in, in a strange environment and, and catching just small fish sometimes was totally a, a wonderful experience. I caught four fish. <laughs> they were only small, but there were four fish. <laughs> Malcolm, this is called Maramban. 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 Yep, it's a traditional method as well. Yes, yes, we, we walked along the jetty to, to um, do some fishing in the traditional way that they okay. throw the net out Two. and then the weight drop down to the bottom and closes the net yeah. and you pull it out and you hopefully you've caught some fish, which was a totally new experience, totally new. Uh, very, very difficult at first to do. Um, for me, very unsuccessful, very little fish, um, perhaps one big prawn uh, was the highlight of my, my uh, escapade there. I got one, one. tiger I really prawn. Forgot. I forgot that you got one tiger prawn. Yeah. That they didn't even give me, oh dear. after all my efforts. One tiger prawn, that was all that you caught. <laughs> Never mind. Next time. Next time. Tarian Adai Adai is one of the oldest and most popular dance performed amongst the Brunei Malays. It is usually performed by fishermen's wives while waiting for their husbands to return from the sea. Music Bujang Sagandang, on the other hand, is a musical performance that combined folk singing and musical instruments like gambus and gandang together. It is always performed during auspicious occasion to welcome and celebrate the event wholeheartedly. With these two lined up for this evening, well, I think Pat and Malcolm will be totally impressed. <laughs> On the next evening, they put on a traditional folk show and dancing, um, which we par participated in. It was ab absolutely amazing, um, with everyone dancing and being friendly. 
really, really good and opens your eyes to the way that they, they express themselves in their music, which was really good. No, no, I've never seen a Malaysian traditional dance, never. It's the first time. They say, when you're happy, you dance, and I was happy and I danced. And they really appreciated my effort. And it was, it was great fun, it really was. Very, I enjoyed it very much. And um, one small hiccup of the um, skirt nearly falling down. <laughs> but we overcome that problem and um, it, was, it was really enjoyable. I'm going to walk away with a lump in my throat. I really am. Um, I've, I've met some very, very incredible people in, in my lifetime. I've been very, very lucky. But I am going to walk away from here and I'm going to be quite upset. I really am because the people have just been so, so warm, so welcoming. Um, it's going to upset me, I know it is, and I'm sure you can. Yes, I think I should be upset when I go, when I leave these people because um, they touch your heart and they're so giving and friendly and they haven't, some of the people haven't got as much as what we've got back in the UK but they're still willing to give you a bit more and that, that is very, very touching. And please come and try the, the homestay, I'm sure you'll have the experience that we've had to take away with you. The time spent here in homestay Kampung Patau Patau has given Pat and Malcolm a better and deeper understanding in the way of life of the people from the traditional Malay culture. It has definitely allowed them to have a better perspective in terms of the multiracial and the multicultural society in Malaysia. It is indeed a wonderful journey that they'll never ever forget. I'm Corinne and this is Wish You Were Here. Goodbye.